Hi love is Ellen, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we're actually going to do something a little fun. There is one look that I do time and time again on my channel and it is probably the most requested look that I have ever gotten from you guys and it is super simple. So we're going to walk through the makeup and the hair and I'm going to do the most requested look from you guys. So before we get started, hit that subscribe button down below, share this with somebody you think might like it and let's do it. All right, so I have no makeup on. Now this video was inspired uh, by a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Risa Does Makeup. I will link her channel below. Risa and I have done videos together and we have been friends for a little while. And she did this video and I was like, you know what? I get that question all the time on this specific hair look and this specific makeup look. So if you ever wondered what this look is, you get it today. All right, so what I do for this look is I start out with an Illuminizing Primer. I have, or SPF, that's what this is. This is a Josie Moran uh, Tinted SPF, and it's very luminous. I have normal to dry skin, and I already actually have all of my skincare on, and I actually already have um, a SPF on, but no big deal. Add on a little bit more just for that glow. Ah, yes. Okay, and now for this look, um, I usually will do like a very quick center of the face primer. I'm going with my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. And this for me, it's meant for oilier skin types. And I actually would uh, usually use the, uh, the canvas, sorry, I can't talk, the silk canvas in the pot. But since I have this, I've been using this a lot more just because it's easier and I don't find it drying. It is more for oily combination skin, but I find it works really well for me, especially over this kind of illuminizing SPF. Okay. So that look has a tendency, the foundation has a tendency to change depending upon the season, depending upon how I'm feeling, what I want to use. But for the most part, it's the El Maquillage foundation. I am in 45, but sometimes the look can be Smith & Colt's foundation that I love, uh, the Kojin Do foundation. That's kind of my go-to's. And then I just pop this on. I like this foundation because you don't need very much. I've done Foundation Friday on it. It looks like skin. It's gorgeous. I don't have to set it. Um, and it just really, really is a fantastic foundation. Now, I have actually a self-tanner on. So don't worry. We're going to bronze this baby up and you'll never know. But this is really a perfect match for my skin when I don't have the, the self-tanning on. All right, so then, and actually uh, with this foundation, I do go under the eyes because I don't want to use a ton of concealer. Um, and I still allow all of kind of those imperfections to show through. Um, they don't, it doesn't bother me. It's just a really quick foundation. Now I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. Um, I am in either three or two. It just depends on the day. I can't tell you. I can never open up this darn, ouch, ooh, owie. Um, I'm actually going to use three because that's the one I can open. No big deal. And I just gently put this right here in the center of my face, right kind of here in this area. And then I also put it in here to kind of open up and brighten this part of my eye because I'm pretty dark there. Touch around the nose. That's pretty much it, a little bit here. My Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I gravitate more towards this sponge nowadays. And my sponge is actually dry. Um, my sponge is not damp. And that is just honestly, just because of the day, I sometimes will dampen it. I sometimes won't. It just depends upon how my skin is feeling. My under eyes have been really, really nice and hydrated lately, so I haven't needed to add any extra hydration. Now, the only thing I do do is I set my under eyes. So I'm just gonna make sure I have no creasing underneath the eye. And then I will take my hourglass uh, powder in diffuse light on either a damp or dry beauty blender. You can also use a brush. I just have a tendency not to do that super often. And then I will kind of go in the center of the face a little bit just to give it a little bit of brightness. 
All right, so and this is the look that I actually do my full face and then I do my eyes just because there's going to be no fallout and I'll show you why. Then I go in with the cream cheek color. This is the Tower 28 Cream Multi kind of stick or multi pan and this is in um, Magic Hour. And we're going to add in some great cream blush on the high points of my cheeks. I layer cream blush with powder blush um, pretty much on a daily. Awesome, super easy. Now we're gonna go in with one of my favorite blushes. I have a couple different ones. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, blush in Ecstasy. I also am obsessed with this one from It Cosmetics that I use. It's the Naturally Pretty. I, it depends on how I'm feeling that day. And I kind of do these swirling motions. Just a really youthful flush. And then I go in with my all-in-one. This is the Hourglass Bronzer in Nude Bronze Light. It's one of my absolute favorite shades. And we're just gonna give a little bit of warmth to the skin. And I'm gonna put my brush kind of at an angle. So I'm not gonna go this way. I'm gonna put my brush at a little bit of an angle and then start to kind of warm up this complexion a little bit. I go right over my blush. See, I'm coming at the bronzer from on top so it doesn't go down too far. And then I take a brush, I'm going to be using the BK Beauty uh, brush in 102, and you guys have seen me do this a couple of times, but whenever I do this, everybody always asks me how I get this eye look, and literally, this is exactly what I do. It's so easy. Hourglass bronzers are my absolute favorite to do this with. I have a couple different colors. I'll go with the darker bronzer. Uh, usually during the winter or fall, just to give it a little bit more of a rich tone. This one's a little bit lighter, a little bit more spring, summer friendly. And then I drag this out, just like I teach you guys with any kind of, um, you know, smaller eye shape, hooded eye shape. I drag this out to bring more attention outside. You see the attention going outside of the eye, it elongates it. And I'm going back and forth in the socket, and I don't bring it in here too much because um, I want that to stay light. This eye is definitely bigger, so I have to kind of finesse this a little bit. I have a whole video on this too. And then I take a small smudging brush. This is the Sigma E20. Take the same bronzer, and under the eyes it goes. I connect outside here and bring it in. And I pull mine down pretty far just to balance out the eyes. Take my brush and kind of blend this out. Always curl my eyelashes. Um, today, it really honestly, mascaras change all the time for me. And I'm just gonna be using the Wander Beauty High, uh, Mile High Club. And I put like two to three coats on, so I let this dry and then I'll put on another coat. Um, but with this look, I either will put mascara on the bottom lash or I won't, but today I will. All right, so finishing touches for the face. I mean, this is literally how easy it is. I'm going to go back in with my diffused light from Hourglass and pop this here. And then after this is kind of all done, I will just make sure that my kind of blush ratio is is kind of, you know, working to its best ability. All right, so we are almost done. Um, I My go-to lip right now, honestly, it changes, but it's basically in this vein. Um, it's either usually the Bare Minerals Gen Nude um, in Dolling, or it is this one by Charlotte Tilbury, which I've been wearing more recently. But I start to fill my lips in with the uh, Jeffree Star lip liner in. And I usually just fill in the corners of my lips. And I think this, it doesn't, I think it's Celebrity Skin or it could be Calabasas. I'm not quite sure. It's not on here for some reason. So I'll go back and figure out. I bought it off of Beautylish, so I'll figure it out. So then we're going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss. And this is in the new one in Pillow Talk. This is that perfect nude that will not wash you out. And it's one of the most beautiful glosses. So let me show you how to do the hair. My hair is probably, I mean, I washed it yesterday, so, you know, that's what it is. Roots are going strong right now. <laughs> um, so this is the thing. 
If you don't, I actually looked for this. This is a Hot Tools 3 iron barrel um, iron. I looked for this and I could not find it for the life of me. So I will try my best to link, obviously, everything below, but I will try to find one like this. If you have hair like me, um, or not, um, if you want to, actually if you have curly hair, you can actually straighten it. I know there's a lot of heat on the hair, and then use this. But I love it because it looks like an easy beachy wave, and my hair lasts for a good, like, three days. And it just kind of gets less and less and less and less as the days go. And it just is beautiful, in my opinion. And I get compliments on my hair all the time when I do it. So I'll literally take this guy. Um, I'm going to go in with a piece right here. You can obviously section your hair too. I, it's just not that serious for me. You don't want to start right up against the um, scalp with this one. You want to place it kind of right here. And as I get kind of underneath here, I do have a tendency to hold it closer to the scalp because that gives the hair a lot of body. This, this hair look makes the hair look like it's so full. Um, my hair is not full like that, but when I do it with this curling iron, again, just a little bit, so scalp is right here, a little bit down. Um, it gives so much volume. All right, so this is what I'm going to do all around the head, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the whole head is done. Um, probably took me another maybe 10 minutes. I'm just gonna use Brilliantine from Bumble and Bumble. It's like one of my products I've used for years. It's like a shine spray, uh, shine kind of palmade. Um, it also kind of gets it like a pieciness to it. I run it through the ends in the back first, and then I take it through the front. And I just kind of take some of the frizz away. And I just kind of do this, make sure it's all the way through. And then I just take my hands and just kind of ruffle it up. You can take, there's like a powder for the roots if you want to do that. It's just, my hair's so dark right now that it wouldn't look very good. Here is the final look. Again, this is one of my absolutely most requested looks for sure. And I hope that you guys see that it is rather easy. So when you make your makeup a little bit more simplified and really focus on just kind of this effortlessness, in my opinion, um, it really goes a long way. And again, super easy. I'm sure you have most of these products at home. You can try it. These are great. This is a great look for any age. Um, it is not, uh, you know, an age thing. I'm 41, so anybody older and younger than me can absolutely rock this look. Hope y'all anyway. enjoyed this so much. Thank you so, so much. Please go check out Risa Does Makeup's channel. It's at the very, um, it's in the description box below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.